Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our daily current affair based MCQ series in which what we do, we daily discuss 10 MCQs based upon the current affairs of the day. So today is 4 September 2019, so let's see what are the questions of today, what are the current affair MCQs uh, uh, of today. So the first question is consider the following pairs. First, Liaquat Ali Khan, Financi, Raja Gopal Chari, Education and Arts. Uh, Sardar Baldev Singh Defense for jo uh, Dr. John Mathai Industries and Supplies. So we have to choose that which of the above pair is correctly matched. So let me tell you friends that this question is about uh, that interim government that formed uh, after the cabinet mission plan. So the answer is D that is 1, 2, 3, 4. All are correctly matched. Liaquat Ali Khan was the finance minister. He was the member of Muslim League and Siraj Gopalchari was entrusted with education and arts. And Sardar Baldev Singh was the defense minister and then Dr. John Mathai was the industries and supplies minister. So reference is basically Indian polity. You can uh, check the Lakshmi Khan book. Uh, their uh, uh, a proper table is there. Uh, uh, that is who have uh, who which which minister was which person was elevated which uh, 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 the, which portfolio. Second question is consider the following statements related to United Nations Convention to combat the desertification. First, it is the sole legally binding international agreement linking environment and development to sustainable land management. Second, it is the only convention stemming from a direct recommendation of Rio Conference Agenda 21. So which of the above statements is correct? First only, second only, C both 1 and 2, D neither 1 nor 2. So friends, let me tell you that uh, uh, first statement is certainly true because uh, uh, a few days ago we also dis uh, we discussed a similar MCQ relating to this uh, that it is the sole legally binding international agreement. So it links environment and development to sustainable land management and uh, also yes it is the only only uh, convention that is stemming directly out of the recommendation of Rio Conference Agenda 21. So the answer is C, that is both 1 and 2. So 14th uh, meeting of conference of parties to uh, UN convention to combat desertification, it begins in New Delhi, so please remember it. Uh, so India took over the presidency of uh, conference of parties from Chennai. So this is uh, not Chennai, it is China. So about UN convention to combat desertification, so it was established in 1994, so legally binding international agreement. So only convention stemming from a direct recommendation of Rio conference is under 21, so in 2000, Six, this uh, uh, to help publicize this convention, International Year of Deserts and Desertification was uh, 2006 was declared as International Year of Deserts and Desertification. So focus areas are basically uh, as ar arid, semi-arid, dry, sub-humid areas known as the dry lands where some of the most vulnerable ecosystems and peoples can be found. So aim is it it, it it's uh, 197 parties aim through partnership to implement convention and achieve the sustainable development goals. So the end goal is to protect land from overuse and drought so it can continue to provide food and water and energy. So Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change is the nodal ministry for this convention in case of India. So next uh, let's move on to the next part. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, next is third uh, Malay declaration is seen in news recently related to A. Outcome of SARC summit B. Ocean conservation declaration C. Outcome of South Asia speaker summit D. None of the above. So friends let me tell you that the answer is C. That is outcome of South Asia speaker summit. So this uh, basically this uh, South Asia speaker summit took place in Maldives. So which uh, resulted in the declaration that is not, that is called Mal Malay declaration. Uh, so uh, it was held recently in Maldives capital with the secretary general of Inter interparliamentary union and senior lawmakers from Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. So background is that uh, it is the fourth event in a series of speaker summit for the region on sustainable development goals the previous three having been hosted by the Jantia uh, Jangsad, Jatia Jangsad of uh, Bangladesh Sansad of India Parliament of Sri Lanka so outcome is Ma Malay declaration so about the Malay declaration it was unanimously uh, felt that Kashmir was an internal matter of India and overlooked all assertions made by Islamabad on the issue uh, next is uh, consider the following statements related to interparliamentary unit First, the IPU is an international organization of parliaments of sovereign states. 
second it is having headquarters at geneva switzerland so we have to choose which of the above statements is correct so let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct because yes this is a basically organization of parliaments of sovereign states and it is based in geneva switzerland so the solution is c both one and two so reference is in uh, indian polity by lakshmi khan next is consider the following statements related to interpol general assembly First, it is Interpol's supreme governing body and comprises representatives from all its member countries. So it meets biennially for a session lasting approximately four days to, vo uh, to vote on activities and pol policy. So which of the above statements is correct? Let me tell you friends that only first statement is correct. That is uh, uh, this General Assembly is supreme governing uh, body and comprises representatives from all its member countries. So India has proposed to Interpol that the General Assembly of the organization be held in New Delhi in 2022 as part of 75th Independence uh, Day uh, of celebration. So uh, uh, what is Interpol? So Interpol is basically an international uh, uh, criminal police organization. So you can call it the uh, International Institution of uh, Police and uh, this uh, Interpol it has a 194 uh, member intergovernmental organizations. So it is headquartered in Lyon, France and uh, it's uh, basically uh, please note it uh, this is very important because headquarters are in fact very important so uh, uh, it is 194 intergovernmental organization headquartered in Lyon France so formed in 1923 uh, this international criminal police commission and started uh, uh, calling itself Interpol in 1956 so India joined the organization in 1949 and is one of its oldest members so it uh, declared global policing goals including counter count, include counter terrorism, uh, promoting border inter integrity, worldwide protection of vulnerable communities, providing a secure cyberspace for people and businesses, curbing illicit uh, markets, supporting environment security and promoting global integrity. So what is the Interpol General Assembly? So Interpol Supreme Governing Body, uh, uh, it is Interpol's Supreme Governing Body comprising all the representatives of its member countries and it meets annually, not biannually, please note that it meets annually for a session last, last, last session, uh, session, <laughs> session. Uh, whatever it is uh, now it is tongue twisting so last thing uh, approximately four days uh, to vote on activities and police so it meets annually for a session yeah it is now good so uh, as is uh, uh, prescribed by uh, philosophers when your mind is calm uh, you you are able to make better decisions and you are able to do things in a more uh, beneficial way so that is also uh, advice from my side to you people so whenever you feel tense don't feel uh, like uh, 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 mugging up everything give yourself time uh, do meditation or if you don't want to do meditation watch some movie spend some time with friends and then start studying don't uh, don't pressurize yourself next is each country is represented by one or more delegates at the assembly who are typically chiefs of law enforcement agencies so it elects the members of the interpol executive committee the governing body which provides guidance and direct uh, in between sessions of the assembly so uh, uh, please note this it uh, it is the uh, uh, the members of the interpol executive committee are elected and not nominated and they are elected by this general assembly so assembly resolutions are uh, uh, the decisions uh, uh, take the form of resolutions and every member country has one vote so decisions are made either by a simple or two thirds majority depending upon the subject matter next is consider the following statements related to association of world election bodies first it is the largest association of election management bodies worldwide uh, second its permanent secretariat is located in new york so we have to choose which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that yes first statement is correct so it is basically largest association of uh, uh, election management bodies worldwide worldwide uh, but it's uh, uh, let me tell you that election commission is hosting four general assembly uh, association of world election bodies so please note it it is very important so election commission is hosting this time uh, this general assembly association of world election bodies at bengaluru it will take over uh, its chair for the 2019 to 21 term uh, so about it is that it is the largest association of election management bodies and uh, it, it was established on uh, in 2013 in uh, uh, songdu south korea so permanent secretariat is uh, in the capital of the south korea that is seoul so it aims to foster efficiency and effectiveness 
openness in conducting free, fair, transparent, and participative elections worldwide. So it has uh, 115 uh, members, and uh, these uh, then other there are also uh, further details you can see into them. Seventh is A64 Apache Combat Helicopter belongs to which country? First, uh, A United States, B United Kingdom, C France, D Russia. So the answer is friends, United States recently eight uh, A-464 Apache combat helicopter helicopter have been procured by by the by the by the, by the Indian Air Force. So it is a multi-role uh, combat and helicopter. Uh, so it is one of the world's most advanced attack helicopters. So uh, its capabilities range from greater thrust, lift, and joint digital operability, and to cognitive decision aiding and improved survivability. And next is eight lignin seen in news recently is related to. A protein, B organic polymer, C insoluble fat, D none of the above. Let me tell you friends that the answer is organic polymer. So the solution is B. So lignin is basically a complex organic polymer rich in polyphenols with antimicrobial qualities. So please note this. Uh, this is uh, it has antimicrobial qualities and uh, it is rich, rich in pol uh, polyphenols. So it is found in almost all dry plants including crop residues and wood barks of the trees. So abundant quantities of lignin are generated as post uh, uh, harvest agrobiomass and in paper and pulp industries every year which often go waste. So why news researchers have developed a, a lignic, uh, lignin based uh, no, uh, nano composite which could potentially have commercial value. So it, uh, this lignin based nano material can act as additive in co uh, coating and packaging materials. So this uh, assumes uh, uh, relevance especially when uh, uh, this uh, packaging is a big problem uh, as, uh, uh, while eliminating this uh, single use plastic. Next is pr project replan is related to replan is related to A to combat desertification, uh, B to combat uh, plastic pollution, to C to combat desert deforestation, D none of the above. So the solution is friends B that is to combat plastic pollution. So uh, replan uh, stands for reducing plastic in nature. So it was it is launched by Khadi and Village Industries Commission. So friends, uh, you have to uh, as you have seen this uh, lignin question, organic polymer. So what you have to do while you write your main answer, main answers, you have to integrate the information that is there in the current affairs, especially in your main answers. So what will it do? It will do value addition and it will look, uh, it will make your an, uh, answer look, uh, look more attractive. So because and it helps in fetching better marks. So it 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 uh, it kind of uh, informs the examiner that yes the student or the aspirant is the uh, is in continuous touch with the newspaper so replan is reducing uh, plastic in nature uh, so launched by khadi and village industries commission to attempts to make carry bags by pro mix mixing processed and treated plastic waste with cotton fiber rags in ratio 20 80 so major paper is found to have good strength uh, made uh, sorry the paint made paper is uh, found to have good strength and durability it can be used to make paper bags fine tissues uh, fine tissues and other paper based items next is terracotta grinder season in news is recent uh, news is seen, was seen in news recently and it is related to a to recycle pottery items b extinct dinosaur species c grinder made with new clay material d none of the above so answer is to recycle pottery items so Khadi and Village Industries has launched the first ever terracotta grinder at Varanasi. So it will grind the wasted and broken pottery items for re reusing in pottery. So it will reduce the cost of production and will help solve the problem of shortage of clays for pottery making. So uh, this pottery making is an art. Uh, so it is a craft also. So uh, if uh, while making pottery, lot of uh, uh, clay is wasted. So this uh, uh, terracotta grinder is basically to recycle that wasted pottery. <coughs> So friends, this is all about today's uh, discussion about MCQs and uh, do ensure that you uh, read these MCQs carefully, revise them because they are very important uh, uh, keeping in mind your uh, UPSC, CSE 2020 and also other uh, examinations which you might be appearing in. So also it helps in uh, writing beautiful answers so because once you have the uh, information from current affairs that makes your uh, answer look more attractive. So this is all about today's video. If you like the questions, if you like the video, then do ensure that you like this video, uh, share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel. And lastly, friends, 
if in case you are interested to jo uh, to get the pdfs of these mcqs you can mail us at chyes21 at the rate gmail.com you can also contact us at 8968920720 so uh, obviously there will be a minimum fee for uh, subscription fee for these pdfs that is rupees 99 per month so basically it has been kept for the purpose of our motivation as well as it has been kept as minimum as possible for the purpose of your affordability so if in case you are interested for the pdfs you can contact us you can mail us or you can uh, uh, also check the description box in which the link will be there and lastly friends you can also join our telegram channel we where we regularly upload uh, uh, our initiatives that we are undertaking for the purpose of csc 2020 or for, uh, for that matter for other exams as well of upsc level not not small uh, not other examinations we solely focus on upsc so upsc based examination so if in case you are interested to remain in touch with such uh, uh, we can say uh, such initiatives then uh, do ensure that you uh, join our telegram channel so the link is shown on your screen and will also be provided in the description box so this is all about today's video thank you have a very nice day ahead